Hello Aquarius, welcome to Guided Angel Tarot. I'm here today to do your reading for August 2020. This is a general reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. We're going to start off with some overall messages from the Tea Leaf Fortune cards. The decks that you see me use in my readings are available on my website for purchase, guidedangelcc.com. There is a link in the description box below that will take you to my website along with any other information that you may want to know about me. All right, so let's start off with those and let's put these away. I did pull your astrology card and you got fire element desire, but we'll get to that in a minute. Let's see what we have here. Dolphin, financial gain usually coming from something you did in the past. Yay, financial gain is always good. <laughs> Rat, ah, oh, who just got this card? Um, Capricorn, yeah, Capricorn. I have to tell you before I even go on that Capricorn and Sagittarius, I believe it was, was pretty intense. It might have been Scorpio, but the last couple of readings that I did were pretty intense. I just resaged all of my decks. Um, I sprayed holy water all over the place and I'm still getting, I'm getting rats, competition, backstabbers, jealousy. I was really hoping, especially when I pulled this card, fire element desires, inspiration and passion and desire, but it does also talk about competition. So I'm hoping that you're not going to have the same energy in your reading, but it's not looking good. Someone is working behind your back. <sighs> oh my goodness. Broken bridge, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. This is a broken connection and it's a problem. And obviously it's not going to clear. Valley, deep personal strength and peace that assures success. So it looks like you are going to have success in some way. We, uh, something that you did in the past is going to be successful, but there is a problem here with a rat, obviously, that is going to not be resolved or have an unsuccessful outcome. So let's talk about this fire element. Obviously, the fire is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So you may be dealing with a fire sign, but it talks about courage, confidence, and strength. Uh, change, when you pull this card, chain is, change is coming in and it's coming in quick. There will be very fast, passionate movement at this time. It is time for you to take action, get moving. You have a burning determination inside of you. Fire is known to clear landscapes for new growth that will be healthier and stronger. So it is considered to be a new beginning, this card, possibly with something from the past. The change that is coming in will be dramatic and unforgettable. This could involve a wake-up call or a personal epiphany for someone. There is, oh, I'm sorry. It is time for you to step into this new path, look at things with a different perspective, and try a unique approach. Be assertive, but also be honest. You will be putting all of your cards on the table and you will know where you both stand in this situation. There will be no mystery here. You may be dealing with a person who's very bossy or pushy, a person that is difficult to get along with. Others' advice may not be best for you at this time. It is best for you to follow your desire and your passion. Someone may try to take over and claim something that you have started, which is competition. It had co competition in parentheses after that sentence. So you may have someone that's trying to take your person away from you or take a job away from you. Uh, 
this person that you're dealing with may have a strong ego or may be someone who is out of control. Pay attention to these details. Don't move quickly. Your instincts are correct, but don't be impulsive. You will have a strong attraction to someone or someone will be strongly attracted to you. Do not attempt to make someone jealous at this time. It will most likely backfire. Any sudden attraction like a new relationship that is based on sexual activity may start out very passionately but may burn out very quickly. This card also involves a sudden change of direction, a dramatic shift, being spontaneous, challenges, firefighters, electrical problems, heart and blood pressure issues, being a rebel, going against authority. This can be a very noisy and busy time. All right. So it really doesn't seem that bad. I mean, I already know about fire. Fire is your passion and your desire and someone may want you and there may be someone in the background that like if this is a relationship you might have met somebody and the relationship is just really taking off and then you have someone else who feels like your competition you may be causing a broken bridge for this person or you may break bridges with this with this person because the broken bridge always makes me think of you know someone returning from the past because it was a broken bridge and now we're trying to fix it so let's see what the tarot brings out angels divine spirits and guides show me the messages mm -hmm. for aquarius please what does aquarius need to know for august 2020 I'm hoping and praying that your reading is going to be better, Aquarius. We speak the truth here on this channel. We do reversals and we take the cards as they fall. So the story is the story. I know if you don't like it, then you don't like it. <laughs> I mean, that's just the way it is. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. When the Queen of Pentacles is reversed, it's usually to me someone who is out of balance. It does represent a materialistic person, but um, a Queen of Pentacles in reverse is not grounded. There's too much going on in her life. There's too much chaos and she needs to, which I believe that card said something about getting grounded or staying grounded as well when I read it in the book. I only... I highlighted some things in the book to give you the important details, but funny that this should come up because I'm pretty sure that it said that. So you may be dealing with a, an earth sign who, I don't know, maybe they're having financial issues. Maybe they're very busy. Three of Pentacles reversed. So that this is usually, um, it could be a Capricorn, first of all. <laughs> Capricorn's reading was crazy. Um, but this is a person that you don't get along with, that you don't work well together with. Um, the Three of Pentacles in reverse can also signify a delay in the commencement of business. Hmm. You don't want to work something out with someone. I'm getting money. Show me Aquarius for August, please. Show me Aquarius. This one. The Emperor reversed. Well, there's your difficult person that you don't get along with. Um, if this is a relationship, this person expects too much from you. And you don't want to put in any more effort into working together with this person working this person's not a team player it's their way or the highway they're stubborn they're aggressive they're demanding they're pushy pretty much all the things that the fire said the emperor is the sign of aries so you may be dealing with an aries here on the bottom of the deck we have the ace of wands reversed another delay but the passion may have burned out here the desire may have burned out here that's usually my card of no attraction. Show me Aquarius for August, please. Thank you. Ten of Wands. 
sign of Sagittarius. Funny that all those cards, Capricorn, Sagittarius, coming up in your reading because, wow, they were intense. Anyway, the Ten of Wands signifies someone that is carrying a heavy load, carrying a heavy burden. I feel like this queen is almost like exhausted from trying to please this emperor. She's carrying a heavy load. She's very busy. She's out of balance. She's not grounded. I mean, look at this person. It's just down on the ground, like completely exhausted. I can't take another step. I can't do it. This could be, this is my last straw card. Show me Aquarius, please. Thank you. Yep, there it is. Strength in reverse. Exhaustion. Somebody is completely, somebody's working too hard here. I feel like I might be a workaholic. Someone's trying to keep, you know, the family in balance, the work in balance trying to please this emperor. This could be ill health here. And when I say ill health, I don't mean, you know, like you're going to die or anything like that. I just mean completely exhausted. Somebody needs like a vacation or something here. Somebody's putting in too much effort. That's what I feel. Show me the final card for Aquarius, please. Aquarius for, thank you. The Five of Swords. Yeah, there might be an argument here about this. That is Aquarius energy. Someone playing mind games. Someone doesn't want to hear what you have to say. I feel like you need help. It's someone like won't listen. They won't help you. Seven of Swords reversed. Interesting. Aquarius energy as well. I bet you're sick of seeing that card, Aquarius. <laughs> Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords. What? Page of Coins. So are you worried about, like you're worried about communicating with someone? You're worried about making a plan? You're up in your head. Feeling guilty. The Seven of Swords in reverse is someone getting caught. Someone feeling shameful, someone feeling with all the Eight and the Nine of Swords being there. Wow. Seven, Eight, Nine of Swords. That's so weird. I don't even know if that has ever happened before. Seven, Eight, and Nine. Gemini could be dealing with a Gemini. But Swords are about communication. And thinking, someone's losing sleep at night, doesn't know how to get out of a situation. They're trying to talk to someone about how exhausted they are or how drained they are. And like this person won't listen. They won't listen. They don't get it. That's what the unsuccessful outcome to your problem is, is this person, like only their point of view is important. And that could be what the fire is. There's going to be a fire. There's going to be a big argument here that's going to clear the path. And then this queen can get the help that she needs. Because then all of a sudden, maybe this emperor will feel guilty for not putting in as much effort as she was. It's kind of what I'm getting. See, this queen has deep personal strength and peace that assures success. She's working really hard to keep a relationship going with someone who's not putting in any effort. Someone working against you or behind your back. I feel like that's definitely this combination. Financial gain coming from something you did in the past. All right, I don't really see that right now. Actually, I feel like money issues could be a problem. Maybe this queen has to work multiple jobs to pay the bills because this emperor doesn't do anything. 
and he won't listen. Somebody's about to like, somebody's completely drained here. Let's get some minis out and see where this is going. Anyway, that's what I'm getting from this first part of this reading. But I do like that the Seven of Swords in reverse is your overall energy because maybe someone here feels guilty or feels shameful for treating you that way. And maybe the argument, like this, this could be an argument here. All right, let's see what we get. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Angels, please show me the Queen of Pentacles. The Magician. She's making stuff happen. Manifesting, having all of the tools that you need to do something, feeling very confident, feeling very strong, accomplishing goals. That's what the um, fire element is. I know I think I said that twice, but that's because I looked over here. <laughs> Show me. I love the magician. Manifesting a new beginning. Three of Pentacles. Show me the Three of Pentacles. Ooh, yep. Knight of Swords. I feel like I feel like there's gonna be an argument here, a challenge. Someone almost like rushing in to say, I'm doing everything, you're doing nothing. And then this person, I don't know if they're gonna get it. I don't know. But that's definitely someone rushing in that you don't get along with, you don't work well with. This could be a past employer. That's been coming up a lot. The emperor can be a boss. Ten of wands signifies work to me. Somebody just keeps, I don't know, throwing stuff in your in bin. And they're lazy and they're not doing anything. And you're exhausted and you need to talk to them and tell them the truth. And then they're going to feel shameful, feel regrettable, maybe do something about it. Show me this emperor. Four of wands is on the bottom of the deck. So this could be a marriage or somebody you live with. Let's do this emperor, please, for this one. The four of cups reverse sign of cancer. So that is showing interest in an offer. It's not rejection. I feel like this queen has something to say to this emperor and he's showing interest almost like it's at the point where he doesn't in the upright position see this child is not listening doesn't want to listen to anything that this person has to say he just has his arms folded and he's focused on the empty cups but when it's reverse he kind of turns around and he looks at her and he starts showing interest in what she's saying it's not a card of action it's just a card of showing interest so let's see this ten of wands please for aquarius what's going on Nine of Pentacles. Here's that, that queen again. This queen, she's independent. Two of Cups. So this is a relationship. Four of Wands, Two of Cups, a very happy relationship. This queen could be considering being single. This queen may have run her own business. But I'm getting confidence again. Confidence in the hard work. Confidence in the effort feeling good although she's in reverse it's almost like she enjoys being exhausted she enjoys pleasing this emperor show me the strength card reversed mm, all right queen of cups knight of cups so now we have some, oh we have rejection of another person but see again this is emotional exhaustion i'm getting a parent child here is this a child or a very young relationship or the queen is older than the king or the the emperor someone's giving too much here with both of these queens being reversed i'm getting a person here who feels guilty feels shameful for the way that they treated you because they should have valued you and they should have had more respect for you because you worked really hard. You put in so much effort into something. And I'm getting a person who strongly did not put in effort. I, there could even be a conversation here where this person is rushing in to tell you that they're sorry that they didn't put in enough effort into the relationship. Because I feel like 
somebody could have left and be single here. Single, independent, able to take care of their self. It's almost like that's what she's saying. I can't deal with this anymore. You could be giving somebody an ultimatum. That's very strong, jealous energy. Let me get one more for this five of swords for Aquarius, please. Show me the five of swords for Aquarius. One more card, angels, please. Turn the deck over. Mm, all right. I don't know. Both of these cards are like sideways. End of a third party. Someone party too much? And they need to put an end to it? What's on the bottom? Ace of Cups. There's a lot of love in this relationship. I'm so confused about this. This is the end. No reunion. Rejection. Someone's with somebody else. Somebody's getting rejected here and somebody else is getting... Oh, this is a third party. So this is the end of the third party. Someone's determined to win something here. They're jealous. I feel like somebody's giving up on the fight. Like, I'm just going, I'm not, this, this isn't worth my time. Um, I'm better than this. I, I'm not going to deal with this. I'm putting an end to it. I'm walking away. I'm just going to be on my own. And then this person's going to, somebody's feeling guilty or shameful for, like, that they didn't value. I, I, I just keep getting, like, guilt. What's under here? Freedom. Free from this person. Look at that. Ace of Wands and Ace of Cups. There's that Five of Swords again. So you're free from this Emperor and you're focusing on yourself. You decided to face your fears and leave and be single because you realized your value, you realize your self worth, you realize that you don't have to put any effort into all this. And this person, I feel like they're coming back and you're just emotionally exhausted. I don't think I have anything more to give. I think this is over. Or if this emperor, if anybody was interested in someone else, I'm just getting a, a masculine and two feminine energies here. So I'm just assuming that this emperor may have been seeing two people and one of these queens, if this isn't the same person, one of these queens just gave up. It's the end of the third party. I'm more valuable than that. I'm going to go focus on something else. Take action. The fire element is taking action to be free from a demanding, pushy person who won't listen. Go and having your new beginning. The magician is a one. You got two aces there. It's almost like you're happy without this person. The eight of swords, nine of swords. There's somebody over here that's way up in their head. They're losing sleep over what they did. Somebody feels guilty here. I can't get that off of my... Just I, It's screaming inside my head. You put an end to it. Or this argument put an end to it. And somebody was just like, fine, I can't deal with it anymore. And now, didn't that say? That said that someone was going to have a wake-up call or an epiphany. That's what it is. Financial gain usually coming from something you did in the past. Is this a boss? Because this could be work. So you had a job where you worked your butt off. This person didn't appreciate you and you left. Maybe even started your own business. And now they realized that they shouldn't have treated you like that. They realized that they should have valued you. This person is losing sleep over this. They love you. 
they love you they're passionate about you they desire you they want to, somebody wants a new beginning here that could be what the someone something's going on behind your back like you just may not know that this person really wants you back because they're interested in something now look what just popped out of here the five of cups they're sad the nine of swords reversed they need to get something off of their mind Ah, and that was laying all of the cards out on the table. This person's coming to talk to you. I feel like, I don't know if they are coming to talk to you right now. But they're thinking about it. Because I don't really see any action. But didn't that say that this is a time where you need to take action? You need to make things happen. You need to manifest this queen. This must be all about this emperor. He feels guilty. Let's pull some more. He feels guilty because he really loves this person. Let's pull some more um, Island Time Wellness cards. Somebody just realized, like, I, I don't need this person. I don't need this drama. I don't need this crap. I'm out of here. I'm done. I'm not dealing with it anymore. It's the end of your unhappiness because this person, the end of depression as well, this person may, depre may be depressed over losing you. Somebody wants a new start. Show me Aquarius, please, angels, for that's what it is. Something you did in the past. This could be, did I say that, past employer? Show me Aquarius, please, angels. Show me Aquarius for August 2020. Clock. Need time takes time in time cycles. Time to heal progress. So I feel like someone's coming back to heal this situation. But maybe not right now. I feel like you might not be healed from what happened or... Somebody felt forced, forced to walk away because they kept trying to talk to this person and tell them that there was a problem and the person wouldn't listen. And then when they walked away, the person was like, <laughs> I mean, I have to bleep that out. I can't even say that on YouTube. But someone had a wake-up call. All right, let's get one more. Show me... Aquarius, please, for August 2020. Aquarius, August. Thank you. Kisses. Unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. I don't feel like there's somebody new here. I feel like this is a rekindled relationship. I'm not really getting that just yet, but hold on. It could be a new person with the Ace of Cups. Let's take one more. All right. Hold on, guys. I've got a whole bunch of cards here. All right. Cassette. Outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. That's exactly what this person is doing. They feel guilty for what they did. They shouldn't have treated you that way. They're going over and over this in their head. Really? Seven, eight, and nine of swords? They, did, they, can't, they can't get it. Like, they just can't get over what they did. I feel like this person, wow. What's on the bottom? Pa happiness, joy, expansion, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. There's a relationship that's getting back together here. Or you left and you, you're meeting somebody new. And now that, that's what's going to make this person go into action because they see that you're with somebody new. And they're like, oh, my gosh, there was somebody new. What am I going to do? They're trying to figure out how to manifest this queen back into their life. And this queen looks like she's rejecting them. The female energy anyway. All right, let's pull some guardian angel cards for advice. This reading seems like it's pretty cut and dry. Um, I hope that you got something out of it. But somebody needs to take some action, action here because they realize that they're passionate. They realize that they desire you. They realize that they want you. This person's going to be very pushy. Things are going to move very quickly. They're just going to come charging in and demand 
that you come back to them, tell you how much they love you. Hmm. But I don't know. <sighs> Show me Aquarius, please. Four. Thank you. We'll take that one and we'll take one more for Aquarius. Three of Pentacles making a second appearance. They want to work together. Wow, look at all these pinnacles coming out. All right, let's see. Three of abundance. Your passion will lead you to your divine life purpose. So passion is important here. Do what you love and have confidence in your talent. Someone's talented and has skills here. Learn everything there is to know about your interests by taking classes, getting a mentor, or teaming up with like-minded people. The Three of Pentacles and the Three of Cups is both about a group of like-minded people. Hmm. Someone teaching, teaching or taking classes. Somebody's learning something. Six of abundance. Heaven opens its loving arms and pours abundance onto you. An unexpected gift is on the way. Accept it with gratitude and humility, knowing that you'll have a chance to return the generosity by giving to others in the future. That's what this card was about. Financial gain usually coming from something you did in the past. Hmm. Consider volunteering for a charitable organization. So we got a charitable organization, working for a charitable organization, four of pentacles. It's time to reflect upon your relationship with money. Are you spending it too freely or holding on to it too tightly? So somebody might be having financial issues here and returning to a past employer. Uh, this can relate to how you give of yourself to others. Is your heart open or are you holding back? Your hard work and wise investments will bring great success. King of Swords. That's about being a mentor too. You may be called upon to be a sp spokesperson for a cause close to your heart. Your angels will give you the perfect words and you'll do brilliantly. You may be asked to be a mentor or find one yourself. This situation involves someone who's professional with a positive attitude and fresh ideas. This person may be emotionally unavailable. So someone, so that's what this is about then. This emperor is realizing that they didn't show you love. They didn't show you emotion. They acted like they didn't care until you left. Until you became independent, until you met somebody else, until you put an end to it. And now, hmm, now all of a sudden they're interested in what you're doing or what you have to say. They want to manifest with you. They love you. They're passionate about you. They want to give you gifts. They want to give you flowers. But the teaching and learning could be you teaching them a lesson and them learning the lesson. This could be all part of somebody's soul contract here. Anyway, I'm going to leave that there, Aquarius. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you got something from this reading today, and I will see you soon.